Hello, ladies and gentlemen. We have some interesting news from uh, from Twitter. Mostly dealing with um, Jack Dorsey versus Musk and the great head honcho himself, the CEO of Twitter, which is Prague Awog, with the text going from him, and some other interesting things that is happening between Twitter and Musk and what he plans to do. So, uh, without further ado, we can get directly into this. Now, this might be a somewhat short video, mostly just due to the fact that there's oh, not much to really go on here, but it is quite interesting because it kind of outlies on um, how scuffed and how corrupt Twitter has really become, which, I mean, we're not really surprised by this at this point, but... I digress. Let's get directly into it. Now, we have stuff here that uh, indicates this. Now, I will blow this up for you all, so don't worry. But it goes on to say, Jack Dorsey. Yes, a new platform is needed. It can't be a company. This is why I left. Posts a, a link there. Elon Musk says, okay, what should it look like? Jack Dorsey goes on to say, I believe it must be an open source protocol funded by a foundation of sorts that doesn't own the protocol, only advances it. A bit like what Signal has done. It can't have an advertising model. Otherwise, you have surface area that government, governments and advertisers will try to influence and control. If it has centralized, in, if it has the centralized entity behind it, it will be attacked. This isn't complicated work. It just has to be done right. So it's resilient to what has happened to Twitter. Uh, Elon Musk has said, super interesting idea. Goes on to say... I'm off the Twitter board mid-May and then completely out of, comp uh, out of the company. This is from Jack Dorsey, by the way. I intend to do this work and fix our mistakes. Twitter stayed started as a protocol. It should have never been a company. That was an original sin. Elon Musk, I'd like to help if I'm able to. Jack Dorsey, I want to talk to you, with you about it after I was all clear after I was all clear because you, you care so much. Get his importance and could definitely help in immeasurable ways. Back when we had the activists come in, I tried my hardest to get you on our board, and our board said no. That's about the time I decided I needed to work to leave, as hard, it was, as, as hard as it was for me. Elon Musk goes on to say, do you have a moment to talk? Jack Darcy, about to head out to dinner, but I can for a minute. Jack Darcy goes on to say, think, I think the main reason... That, reason is the board is just super risk averse and saw abiding saw adding you as a more risk which i thought was completely stupid and backwards but i only had one vote and three percent of the company and no and no dual class shares hard setup we can discuss more elon musk says let's definitely discuss more elon musk goes on to say i think it's worth both trying to move twitter in a better direction and doing something that not new that's decentralized jack darcy as it goes on to say it's likely the best option i just have doubts but open. So, those are the current texts that were between Jack Dorsey and Elon Musk. Now, more stuff is coming out from Zach Schutt, whatever the his name, whatever the hell he is, I don't know who he is. I think he's the CEO of uh, uh, MetaPCs or co-CEO or whatever, but I digress. Uh, this is from Jack P Paragwall. Actually, I don't even need to blow this up because all of this is right here anyways. So, it goes on. Jack uh, Perog says, "You are free to tweet. Is Twitter is is Twitter dying or anything else about Twitter? But it's my responsibility to tell you that it's not helping me make Twitter better in the current context. Next time we speak, I like to I like to you to provide you perspective on the level of internal distraction right now and and how it hurt, and how it's hurting our ability to do work. I hope the AMA will help get people to get people to know you, to understand why you believe in Twitter, and to trust you. And I like the company to get get to a place where we are more resilient." and not get distracted, but we aren't there right now. Elon Musk goes, says, what did you get done this week? Now, there isn't much here to say right here, but luckily we have more of the stuff here. So, it goes on to say with this, is that, uh, and, uh, and it goes on to go on to more, covering it, Elon Musk goes on to say, what did you get done this week? Elon Musk also says, I'm not joining the board. This is a waste of time. Elon Musk goes on to say, without peril of saying anything, we'll make an offer to take Twitter private. All right? So this is not necessarily looking to all that great. Uh, uh, thing. Now I will blow this up. After several days of deliberation, this is obviously a matter of serious gravity. I have decided to move forward with taking Twitter private. I will send you an offer later, later, ten, ten, later tonight, which will be public in the morning. Happy to connect with you with my team if you have any questions. Thanks, Elon. 
Brett Taylor goes to acknowledge. Brett Taylor also says, goes on to say, confirming I received your email. Also, please use redacted going forward. My personal email. It all says, will do. So, that being said, th this is all getting pretty kind of crazy here in terms of what, uh, what's what been going on between these two and what else. And this stuff is getting exposed now because it was down to doing, released in Discovery, which is within the courts. And this is not going super great for Twitter at all. <laughs> this is also seems like it's going to be a, quite a negative for Twitter. The, if you guys think it might be hurtful to, to Musk, okay, you could possibly maybe think that. But I don't actually think it's it's like this at all. I think it's, this is actually really helpful for Elon Musk in general and hurt, makes Twitter look very, very bad in a sense. It goes on to say, text show roll call of tech figures try to help Elon Musk in Twitter deal. Uh, a troll of text message released as part of the legal fight over over Elon Musk's effort to determine his acquisition of Twitter has revealed frantic efforts to put the $44 billion deal together with help from a cast of high-profile Silicon Valley backers. Hundreds of messages between Musk and his associates from early 2022 showed the billionaire entrepreneur had engaged with Twitter's management and board. His advisors, his advisors at Morgan Stanley, potential investors such as FTX, chief executive Sam Bunkman fried and random supporters of his bid, including podcast host Joe Rogan. Jack Dorsey's Twitter's former chief executive told Musk that he had previously tried to get him on the Planet Company board in 2020, but was refused. The text revealed. Now, we're probably going to skip some of this other stuff because it's really not re important all that much. However, it will go on to say that in one exchange, top Morgan Stanley bunker Michael Grimes told Musk that rap Bankman Fry, the billionaire of chief executive of cryptocurrency exchange FTX, was willing to invest as much as $5 billion in the deal. Grimes said Bankman Fry would work to integrate blockchain technology for Twitter. He could shake hands on five if you like him, and I think you will. Grimes said in the, on the several text messages he sent Musk, the billionaire dismissed the, the idea that, and, and questioned the Bankman Fry's finances, asking, does Sam actually have $3 billion liquid? liquid? Matthias Dothner, chief executive of Germany's Axel Springer Media Group, also offered to run Twitter off, off bleh, English, also offered to run Twitter for Musk if he bought to it, bought it to establish a true platform of free speech, writing a detailed proposal on how this might work. All right, so this is getting quite interesting here. Uh, Oracle founder Larry Ellison said he was in, in for $2 billion, while Reid Hoffman, only co-founder and partner Gray, uh, Greylock, said he could put up the same amount. Ellison eventually contributed $1 billion to the bid. Musk and Grimes also lamented that Orlando Bravo, the software private equity tycoon, had passed on on joining the takeover. The documents have made public as Musk and, as Musk and Twitter prepare to go out to their court next month. Blah, 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 and all that good stuff. Twitter denied the claims and announced that they counter suit and attempt to force Musk to close the deal. So we already know some of this stuff and what have you. So that's what we have here with what's going on to, with Musk and all the stuff, stuff. Now we also have... This as, well, this as well, Elon Musk tests or signal confirm his intention to make Twitter open source free speech platform that contrib contributes to democracy. Now, this is all great. So, I really want Musk to take it over because I do want Twitter to be more of a free speech and um, open source type of a deal, a platform, because it's way better than um, anything else. And what happens, it, and it will make the, the elections that much better. If Musk takes over Twitter, and we have the elections coming up. It's going to make it really, really hard for Twitter to push this narrative of this toxic type of stuff to where it's happened. Now, will Musk actually do what he says? I don't know. But from what, from what we're seeing here is that Musk may actually end up doing this. And if that's the case, it's going to be a huge advantage to Twitter and a huge advantage for free speech. Only time would tell. But this seems quite interesting in how Twitter's um, shadiness is being released. Alright guys, that's it for the video. Like, subscribe, share, and as always, take care. Alright, hello ladies and gentlemen. I have missed a few things here, but uh, that's okay because I'm going to go through it over with you guys. So, uh, here's the full text. This is, uh, what I missed was pretty much the text between Brett Taylor and Elon Musk. So I'm going to go over this now. Uh, uh, Prague uh, just called me and mentioned your text conversation. Can you talk? Please expect a private offer. Uh, I saw the text thread. Do you have five minutes so I can understand the context? I don't currently. 
Fixing Twitter by chatting with Prague won't work. Drastic action is needed. This is hard to do as a public company, as purging fake users will make the, thumb, will make the numbers look terrible, so restructuring should be done as a private company. This is Jack's opinion too. This is all from Elon Musk. Again, this is going on for T Brett Taylor. Can you take 10 minutes to talk this through with me? It has been about 24 hours since you joined the board. I get your point, but just want to understand about the sudden pivot and make sure I deeply understand your point of view and the path forward. I'm about to take off, but can't talk to tomorrow. Thank Brett Taylor goes on to say thank you. Brett Taylor also goes on to say, hey, can you speak this evening? I have seen your tweets and I feel more interested about understanding your path forward. So, uh, I launched your text with Parag yesterday that you are declining to join the board. This will be reflected in, the, in our 8K tomorrow. I've asked our team to share a draft with your family office today. I'm looking forward to speaking today. Uh, sounds good. It is better, in my opinion, to take Twitter private, uh, restructure, and return to the public markets once that is done. That was also just for you when I talked to him. So, that was pretty much it, guys. That's what I missed. Sorry for the little bit, you know... <coughs> thing happening there, but I managed to get it done. Alright guys, that's now the end of the video. Like, subscribe, share, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.